and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And starting this one, Kyle Gibson. What do we have on him? Well, Taylor. there are going to be a lot of balls in play Four. because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Batting second, the center fielder, number 27. Here's Mike Trout. Mike. He's got the power, Trout. but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. On the ground to the left. Mateo tosses to first. Two quick outs at the top of the first here tonight. Batting third, the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. Shohei Otani up to the dish. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. The pitch. Smoked on the ground a second. Frazier on the first in time. And they get Otani for the out. Back here at the ballpark, our starter in this one, Shohei Otani. Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. Here's Adley Rutschman. Yes. Next Ball. pitch is outside. Three balls, one strike. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed down low. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Anthony Santander at the plate. Swing and a miss struck him out. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. Next pitch has popped up. Drury makes the catch, and that'll do it. One left for the Orioles. Second inning Leading set to go. Game. And the batter now, the Anthony game. Rendon. Anthony Rendon. Two and two. Lifted in the air, right center field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Brandon Drury to the plate. The pitch. Swings and misses. And the count, one and two. Second inning here, no score. There's a swing and a drive. Mullins raging back towards the wall. Back some more. Bounces off the wall as he makes the grab. Typically not easy to go deep to center field, but he almost did right there and got a little help from the wind, just not enough. Ball to strike. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one back. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. He sends it out of here. Just like that, they move in front. It's 1-0. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Gio Urshela to the plate. But why to kick the pitch? That one fouled off. 2-2. Two and two. Just a slow ground ball this time. Slings to first. That's the third out. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. Bottom of the inning. Here's a speed threat. Gunnar Henderson. The third baseman. Now fly ball to right center. Trout makes the grab one away. And now it's Austin Hayes. Got kind of a throwback. No batting okay. gloves. Hey. There's a strange wind blowing. Ball 
called a strike. The pitch. Ball. That one ripped. Trout going back on this one. Back some more. And that one's gone. So he just clears the wall. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. One, one. And now the DH, Kyle Stowers. One down, base is empty. Swing and a ball popped up. Drury settles under it. Two down. Here's Adam He's Frazier. Adam the second baseman. Adam Frazier. Next offering is in for a strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. Three, two. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. On a line, base hit. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Rendon makes the play, and it's out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And welcome back. Now it's Hunter Renfro. And the pitch. Left field, way back there. Hayes raging back on it. Still going back. And it is gone. Hunter Renfro hits one out. And that gives him a lead. It's 2-1. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. Patient and waited for it. It was like BP all over again. And now, Logan Ohapi. And now two and two. Line drive. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. And that's a double. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out. But he got the job done right there. So the lineup flips over. And now it's going to be Taylor Ward. Bounced out to short. On the run, throw to first. Out. And one away in the top of the third. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. The 1-1. One, one. Line to left, and it goes just foul. At 30 years old, Mike Trout, 1,000 runs, 300 homers, 200 stolen bases. The only other players in Major League history with those numbers at that age, A-Rod and Willie Mays. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you have Drill to the air, right field, way back there, and that is out of here. Shohei Otani goes deep, and they add a couple more. It's 4-1. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Base is empty with two away. Now the third baseman, Anthony Rendon. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But the long ball was working in. The Back here in Baltimore, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Breaks his bat, pops it up. Rendon gathers and throws to first. 
One gone, bottom of the third inning. And now the right fielder, Anthony Santander, struck out swinging his first time. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a count one and two. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses, struck him out. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Next offering is downstairs. Two ball, one strike. And now two and two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Gone into the flagpole. Ryan Mountcastle hits one out, and they cut into the lead. It's 4-2. Oh, that one got the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and all of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Next to hit, Gunnar Henderson. He swings and fouls one off. The 1-2. In the air, right side of the infield. Drury settles under it. Makes the catch inning over. But not before they're able to draw closer with this blast. It's back now at Oriole Park. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Brandon Drury. The pitch. That one fouled off. You know, these Angels doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boog. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's the pretty special stuff. Team. Not Second so good base. if you're out there on the mound. Luis, Luis Rangifo digs in now. The solo homer his first time. Swung on, belted. That's back. And it's off the warehouse. Look out. That one felt good. His second home run of the game. It's 5-2. Just an excellent swing all the way around. And it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive. Short to the baseball. Squared it up. And the backspin carried it out of here. Giorgella steps in. The 1-1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. Urshela started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. And the righty deals. Swings here and blasts one left field. That one carrying, and it's off the top of the wall. And into second with one away, that's a double. Everything came together for him. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now it's Hunter Renfro. Bounce to third. Zips it to first, and Renfro is retired. Now batting, catcher, Logan. So digging in, Logan oh, Ohapi. Doubled his first time up. And fouled off. Started after the 1-2 pitch. Appeal to first. Did not go. Runner at second. Two down. Ripped on a line to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. But add on one more as the solo shot straight. Welcome back. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Austin Hayes. Here's a 1-1. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. You know, these Orioles showing great discipline at the plate. And patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. That one hops against the fence. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. 
So a man aboard, Kyle Stowers, getting ready to hit. 0 for 1 so far. That misses. And it's 2 and 1. Swing and a miss. And now 2 and 2. And that one is inside. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He powers one out to right field, and they slice into the lead. It's 5-4. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Jorge Mateo now. One for one. He singled the left his first time through. Swings and misses. One and two. That one the other way. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, in there safely. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Mateo over at second, one down. In the air to left, down the line. Ward flashes the leather on the run and catch. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like okay, him, he is looking five. forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. Well done behind the dish. Next offering is fouled back. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. And a swing and a miss. Good job at damage control right there. They put two. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. And now Taylor Ward. Taylor Ward. Strike two. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The punch out there. Now one away. And now batting Mike Trout. Mike. Singy, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows. On oh, Not in time, it's a double. Now batting. Here's Shohei Otani coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. Fouls one off, two and two. Well, that's a really good pass of the ball right there. Just a little bit too quick. He's got to find a way, just let it travel a hair more. Goes down looking. Just locked him up right there for the second out, and that's an at bat he's probably going to be thinking about for a little while. Didn't pull the trigger. Not how you want to go down in an RBI spot, so now you got to hope your teammate behind you can pick you up. Anthony Rendon, an outstanding player in college. He went to Rice, the sixth overall pick by the Nationals in the 2011 draft. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Run comes in from second, and they lead by two. And he's got a double. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not going to leave this in the umpire's hands. I'm going to be aggressive. It was in a location where you could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice. New pitcher now, Mike Bauman. And that's a big potential run out there in second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the... Mullins makes the play, and that'll do it. Anthony Rendon with the clutch double. It's a two-run lead now at... 
three, four, five, due up for the home team. And into the box for Baltimore, Anthony Santander, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And that one wrapped foul. 2-2 two, two now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. Flashed his power last time, blasted one over the wall to the opposite field. And yeah, there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that wall. Here's a 1-1. One, one. To third, might be two. Feeds to second, out there. And that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way. And welcome back. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Rangifo. The 2-1. Swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Righty to the plate. Ripped on the ground a second. One up, one down. The batter, number 10. Here's Gio Urshela. Gio Urshela. And he deals. That one hammered center field. Mullins going back. Back some more. To the warning track, makes the catch. Well, I didn't think he got it off the bat, but the wind made it a lot more interesting than expected. Nice job of the center fielder. Puts it all the way back to the warning track. Man. Line drive. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Offense held in check there. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Angel Six. Well, we go bottom six, and into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Righty delivers. That one oh. missed. Three, one. Lined, and that's a base hit. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the very... Now the Angels manager is... They no, hand the ball over please. to a new arm, Jimmy Hergit. Still a lot of game left, Number and this game could go either way. Mm -hmm. So this is a big Hergit. opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help. There's one. Plenty of time at first. That's a double play. Well, the reliever comes in, takes care of that inherited runner, gets that ground ball double play, and now he can work on one more guy to get back in the dugout. Slapped foul. The wind of the pitch. And that Ball one two. almost got him. In the air, left field. That one gets down for a hit. And that extends the inning. So next to hit for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Kicks and deals. Hammer, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, no. you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Left hand batter waits. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Yeah, I'm surprised we didn't see a visit from the pitching coach here. Just to remind him, focus on the hitter. Don't worry about anything else. High drive, deep right field, way back there, out of here. Cedric Mullins sends it out, and the Orioles jump out in front. It's 7-6.
That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boyd. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. So two down, and here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. Next oh. offering is outside. And the pitch is in for a strike. That's strike two. Now that's smack to right center. Dives, but it falls. And now it looks like extra bases. Rutschman into second, and he's got a double. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Nice line drive to the pole side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. <laughs> Orioles get three on this long ball. And this is now a 7-6 ball. Back here in Baltimore, we go to the top of the seventh. So in now for the Angels, Logan O'Hoppy. Him. One out. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once Taylor. you get it going, it can be Four. so tough to stop the momentum of that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. That's hard hit on the line. Dives for it. Got it. Makes the play. You love to see when a guy's hungry to make a play right there. An excellent diving catch. You could absolutely tell he was all in and tracking that ball down. Here's Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Hayes raging back on it. Looking up. Pulls it in on the warning track. Angels held in check. Down a run and a tight one. It's 7-6. Back now at Oriole Park, bottom of the seventh. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Ryan Mountcastle. And the right hater deals. No. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And here's a 3-2. And a swing and a miss, and one out now. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly, he had him fooled. Next offering is foul back. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Comebacker to the mound. On to first. Out. Three up, three down, inning over. Held in check there. He'll try and hold on to their 7-6 lead. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. CNL Perez. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Mullins makes the catch one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. The pitch. And one and two. Boom. That's Cheddar, baby. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Makes the grab. And there's two away. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run, but no reward right there, and just going to have to sit on it. Looking to get the tying run on base. Popped up right side. And that is the inning. And the Angels are gone in order. They're right in it, though. Out of the bottom of the eighth. Now here's the Orioles.
Here comes Ryan Tapera to the hill. Now pitching for the Angels. Number 52. 1-1 one, one now. Tapera. And that one is lifted in the air. Trout sizing it up. Puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now, Adam Frazier. 3-1 is on the way. And that's in for a strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Popped up. Rangifo has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Felix Bautista. He has a great slider with tons of movement. So in now for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. The 1-1. One -one. Fought off foul. The 1-2. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Oh, you know, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Good pitch, hard and inside, but he showed off some quick hands, got the barrel to it, and was able to yank it into the outfield. And now it's filled up. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. On the ground, could be two. Over to Frazier. They get the double play, and just one out to go now. Well, that's a huge ball in play to get the double play defensively. Just one more guy to get this save for the closer. Hunter Renfro at the plate. And here it comes. They say it went. The tying run at the plate. Got him! And that's the ball game. Well, I'd say we got treated to a good one. Got to love a game when you get 13 runs on the board. A lot of offense, but it doesn't end in a blowout. Tons of really good at-bats to...